It's Patricia from the Southwest Yankee. What some middle-aged women will do. Places of employment that lead into Longhorns again. And a shout out to Clifford's Cousins. In Massachusetts, you'll find out more later. I don't want to give everything away. <laughs> Light moment. God made the beasts of the animals after their kind and the cattle after their kind. Genesis 125. So place of employment. So I've been at the subbing job for like eight years, but there's a lot of vacations and summers. So, you know, I've tried out all these different jobs, you know, after being a housewife and having, you know, raising kids and having, you know, side jobs, you know, working for something that, you know, is more steady. So I've tried out a few places. At first, I put a few jobs together, but now I'm really starting to, like, pick something that, you know, is more full-time. So I've tried a few places, and this is one of them I tried out. Now, this was hilarious. So we're at the orientation. You know what they do. You know, laws, you know, how the company feels about stuff. Uh, information, you know, that we should know. So... A slide comes up and says, there's a meth aid problem, but we have a system in place to take care of it. And I'm like, meth aid? And they're like, there used to be cattle where they built the building. And I'm thinking, I think that's very biodegradable, isn't it? I mean, it's not like nuclear waste that has a half-life. So I'm like very confused about this. And this is where the ranch comes in. I you know, called an expert and asked too. <laughs> but we're going to get to that later. So, it was a couple days into the job. I said to one of the co-workers, I said, I saw fans, so I said, it, is this the system set in place? Because <laughs> that doesn't look too high tech. <laughs> so, you know, I'm like, wow, we're getting back to that cattle again. So I started researching, you know, because I'm doing the Northeast and the Southwest, the size of Massachusetts and the size of Texas and ranches. Like, you know, like livestock, what could we possibly have in Massachusetts? This is where the plot thickens and becomes ironic. So I'll give the, you know, stats first. So Square mileage in Massachusetts is 10,000. In Texas, it's 300,000 square miles. People, 7 million in Massachusetts, Texas, 29 million. So I'm thinking they can't possibly have longhorns because I've showed you pictures of them. They are big. And then not only are they big, because you would assume cattle's big. I think it's the longhorns in front that, you know, when you think of a square mileage, you know, how could you do this? But we've been over this before in other videos too. You know, when people think of state, especially New York City, Boston, you're thinking, you know, Houston, you're thinking of big cities. But the state isn't covered with big cities. You might have a few. And when I was growing up, I, you know, worked on farms. So people think, oh, you live in your Bo Massachusetts, Boston. I'm like, no, I didn't live in Boston. I lived outside. So, you know, I had many opportunities to work on farms, which was cool. So <laughs> I'm looking it up and I'm thinking like, what is the industry? And a lot of things when I was looking this all up was similar to Texas and Massachusetts. I mean, it's not like we, live on Mars, you know, 18, 19, 21st century all happened here. So 
similar stuff. But this is where the ironicness comes in. I'm thinking, tiny state, big state. They couldn't possibly have longhorns. All of a sudden, I'm looking up information. I come across a ranch and it is called Double C Ranch. And of course, I had to call Charlotte, <laughs> who owns it, one of the owners. And we were talking and she's been to Texas and Oklahoma and has gotten her longhorns from Texas. <laughs> I am just like, this is, this is unbelievable. This is like full circle. <laughs> and she's in Granby, Massachusetts. And that is, we've been over this. We did, remember we did last week, we did the, the north, the south, the west, and the east of Texas and Massachusetts. She's in western Massachusetts. <laughs> so, yes. Which is very, I mean, to a Massachusetts, it's far from, from Boston. But to a Texan that's like up the street. You know, like in Massachusetts, over 15 minutes is a long ride. In Texas, three hours, well, you could do a little bit more, more to get there. Because what I did last week, I have uh, one of my friends in Texas. So she went to go visit, and she's been in a few of the episodes because we're outdoorsy, we, you know, we've been canoeing and, you know, hitting restaurants. But she went to go visit her family, remember, in West Texas and, was it East? <laughs> so what happened was she was in the, you know, where they had oil and gas and everything. But it was a four hour ride, so I talked her there and back because that's what extroverts do. <laughs> so, remember to subscribe. Bye.